Max Inc. Radio, radio for the people, the Vipers there and made in the shade. The Vipers join us in the Bastard Den right now. What's up, fellas? Welcome to the Bastard Den. Hi, Jimmy. Hey, yo. Hey, hey Jimmy. Yeah. Uh, let's go around the room and introduce everybody. We got uh, Tim Consequence. What's up, Tim? How you doing, man? Doing good, Jimmy. Thanks. Excellent. Matt is here. What's up, Matt? Matt Viper's doing good. Matt Viper's doing good. And T-Bot, we're going to call you, huh? Yeah. All right. I'm doing pretty good, too. <laughs> what's the What's the T-Bot? <laughs> Uh, that comes from Digibot. Digibot, gotcha. Which we were talking about off the air. That's your other band that you're in, right? Excellent. And Paul's here. What's up, Paul? Hey, what's up, Jimmy? And Paul's also in Kill Junior, so we know them guy. Those guys. Oh, yeah. Christmas morning sex. We just played that man. Good so, uh, Tim, let's start with you, man. Kind of, you know, uh, I, I've seen you guys once at Mr. Roberts. I, I thought it was a great show. That the Benefit show uh, a couple couple weeks back or about a month ago, I guess. And. Uh, I was like, wow, here's this garagey, punky band that I'm listening to. Uh, where do they come from? What are they all about? So how would you answer that? Uh, who, who are the Vipers? Well, Jimmy, the Vipers strive to um, at least play some good, loud music and not much else. Mm-hmm. But at least we hope we can accomplish that much. But where we practice, we look at... Um, rust and decay and stuff like that everywhere, and hopefully that comes out in the music a little bit. Um, rust Belt Rock. I like that. I've never heard that before. Rust Belt Rock. <laughs> Sounds like something that should be like in Ohio or something like that. Or Detroit. maybe <laughs> that too. Yeah. There's some of that around here still. Yeah, yeah man. You can uh, also call it Cinder Block Rock. <laughs> yeah, cinder. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Uh, now, we were talking off the air. I was going to ask you, you know, how, how the Vipers got started. You said it started back in the 60s. Explain that. Well, there's a fictional TV show oh, called uh, Codename Viper as an acronym, V-I-P-E-R. Okay. And uh, the surf band that Matt and myself are in, Pistols at Dawn, do a cover of the theme song to that fictional TV show, Codename Viper. And when it came time to do a side project spin-off band, we just went with that whole fictional persona of Viper. And then we kind of forgot about that long ago and just started playing Rust Belt Rock. But it all started with that TV show. Maybe Matt can add more to that. Yeah, I, uh, I said, well, I'm ready to be in a band. I want to front a band that's like the Detroit Cobras, only we're from Madison. And But then Tim kept writing songs, so the Vipers became the Vipers. <laughs> yeah, that's... So this guy's, um, as I'm going through your Facebook page, you know, we do this occasionally, a little bit of research to try and figure out what you guys are about, get some good questions. Instead, I came up with this. Why do you guys like butts? Oh. Oh. Uh-huh. Why don't you like butts? <laughs> well... I've got bad arthritis in my hand, and I've noticed the uh, vibrational feelings of spanking a hearty, healthy butt feel really good to the arthritis in my uh, where my uh, thumb and uh, my opposable thumb joints are. Let's put it that way. It's the best therapy I've found. We've even worked a spanking routine into uh, one of our stage shows. Uh, every so often, we get a birthday girl or some other bol- volunteer that uh, you know. A birthday boy that's got a cure for arthritis. I was, I was going to say we we have a birthday boy in the house right now and he just handed you a shot ah. Uh-oh. many more man so <laughs> yeah, happy birthday, birthday Rocky. so uh so how's that arthritis <laughs> feeling birthday. you want to work that out a little bit yeah, yes i uh, live on the <laughs> air I, I have spanked a man i i'm yeah. not proud of that uh oh yeah here we go oh, uh, oh. gargle rocker block on the air <laughs> oh i, th- oh, I think he's drowning smooth vodka i think he's drowning <laughs> <laughs> uh paul let's go to you man uh you know we mentioned uh before uh, uh when we came on here that you're also in kill jr yeah awesome band you're also in the vipers cool, yep uh you know kill jr you play the guitar vipers you're playing the bass right yes uh so what what is it for you i mean first of all being part of the vipers but having that transition for you because two completely different bands yeah well you know growing up i listened to a lot of punk rock and uh and uh when i i've I was a fan of the Vipers before I was in the band. I used to go see them play quite a bit, and they do quite a few Ramones tunes, and I really dug that, and I just like the aggressiveness and uh, the fast-paced nature of the band because uh, I like playing really fast. So, Which uh, which instrument do you like? Uh, what's your favorite, the guitar or the bass? 
Well, I don't know. They're both pretty awesome, you know. Yeah. Like they have a, both have a kind of a totally different feeling, I guess. Like, like if uh, you if you went to Allah or heaven, wherever you want to go, and you have naked chicks and you got your pot and your booze and whatever, <laughs> would it be the bass guitar or the? Right, well, right? I, Probably, uh, probably the bass. You can get a good, get, you can get uh, you know a good stony vibe going on. Some ghetto, Thank ghetto you. bass grooves. You know, yeah. you can feel the bass a little more than the guitar, I guess. So. The chicks seem to dig it. Very nice. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Tim, why don't you talk a little bit about your uh, your current CD and uh, and also your your label, uh, Hypothetic Records. Uh, well, just to clarify, we don't really have a current CD. You gotta get up on that microphone, bro. No current <laughs> CD. We do have plans to do a, a split seven inch in the near future on our label, Hypothetic Records. Okay, okay. But we're still trying to court the right band for an endeavor like that. So, what kind of a band are you looking for? One with about five hundred dollars. Uh, T-Bot, uh, how, how did you come, I mean, you were one of the kind of the co-founders of the Vipers, is that right? Or? No, no, I, uh, I had seen them a couple times and, uh, they had gone through kind of a series of drummers through the, the about the year I saw them and I mentioned to Tim that, hey, I might be, you know, a good fit for you guys and I hadn't been playing drums in years at the time, so I, I play guitar in some other bands and, uh, he said, hey. Let's do it. So I kind of learned, uh, relearned drums on the fly, and here I am. You know, when I seen your guys' show at Mr. Roberts, uh, I, I noticed something about you. You know, and I, 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 I look at drummers quite a bit when they're when they're drumming. Like, uh, you know, Brian from Kill Junior, he's a madman. The Beast or uh, Ryan from Chaos Revolution Theory, he's just crazy back on the drums. You know, Sparko and Subatomic. I noticed you're 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 kind of wild back there yourself. Uh, just hmm. just you know, pounding the skins and just having a good time. It looks like you're having fun while you're doing your instrument back there, man. Yeah, I'm sure that my hands will pay for this, though. <laughs> well, soon enough. Maybe you could take some tricks from Matt here and, uh, you know, spank some asses and stuff. <laughs> I think I need to do a little more spanking, I guess. That's ther- therapy, believe me. Better than acupuncture. Uh, so let's talk about the show on Friday. First of all, Tim, happy birthday. It's your birthday Thanks, show. Thanks, Jimmy. Is, is it... Friday your birthday or real? yes Friday is my birthday the actual birthday correct the day you squirted out <laughs> yes well that was also Many this years morning ago. <laughs> <laughs> so you do this every year um yeah because nobody else will uh huh <laughs> so what acts have you had in the past has it always been has it always been the Vipers playing no a lot of times it would be Pistols at Dawn okay and then usually I would try to get a touring band through but. A lot of my favorite touring bands don't tour anymore or mm-hmm. moved far, far away or something like that. So we're just doing the hypothetic um, sponsored birthday party this year with all hypothetic bands. Now, is it just the three, the Sky Road Fly, Phil Kegley, who's a complete bastard, by the way, <laughs> uh, and and uh, the Vipers on the hypothetic right now? or? Well, Pistols at Dawn. And Pistols and, at Dawn. And the Vipers don't have a release, but right. we are honorary members of that roster. <laughs> All right. Would a Hypothetic ever consider bringing on a bunch of bastards on your label? Um, we, we know some. We do not have $500. Nor are we a band. Well, well that's just... <laughs> That's just to get a forty-five done. Split forty-five. You don't have to have. Yeah, you're gonna have to ask the uh, executive producer. No, I don't. uh, That's yeah. That's uh, that can be hashed out later. Okay. okay. There's room in the ship. ship. We'll have our people call your people, and they'll do coffee. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. I I had a little trouble immediately uh, finding you guys on Facebook. So uh, tell us how people can find the Vipers on Facebook, T-Bot. Uh, I think they can search Mad Town Vipers. There it is. Yeah. Do you guys have an actual website too, or no? <laughs> Something in the works for that, or no, no. <laughs> not currently. <laughs> Do you guys utilize any other social media such as MySpace, Reverb Nation, anything like that? He was reading that off a script. You can come way. to the uh, come to Mr. Roberts every other week, and you'll catch us. And we have some <laughs> videos on YouTube. There you go. Well, if you're Acme Vision, that that's uh, a way to get a just 
go Google Acme Vision or search Acme Vision Vipers. And but whatever you do, don't watch the one by Emo 913. <laughs> That's not on Acme Vision, though, right? That's not mixed up with Acme Vision. Acme Vision is the pure delivery system. Do not go to the impure Emo site. <laughs> those are imposter Vipers. Yeah, yeah. Those, those aren't the real Vipers. Anyone would look like that after you beat them that much. <laughs> Excellent. So if you've never seen the Vipers, or in my case, I've only seen you guys once. I want to see you guys again. This is the weekend to do it. Friday at Mr. Roberts. The Vipers are there. Sky Road Fly, the Phil Kegley Band. It's going to be a great show. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, and uh, what else is on the calendar there, Tim, uh, for the Vipers? Where, you got some more gigs booked? Well, uh, we're going to help Digibot continue their longtime streak of being a band across several decades. And... So we're going to be playing with them on December 8th, also at Mr. Roberts, and we're going to bring along Dharma Dogs to help us out with that. Nice. Another band I haven't, uh, I have not heard. But the, I'm slowly getting to everybody, but it's taking time. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming in today. Really appreciate it. I like the tunes, even though it's not an official release of the CD. This is a live recording you guys did from a from a show. Is that right? Our own bootleg. Uh, bootleg. The, some of the tracks on there. We can't say that, by the we way. We do down at the studio. We we can't say bootleg. Loud City doesn't like that. Uh, okay. It's our own, though. I mean, <laughs> own, yeah. it's, 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 no one else stole it. I think I that mean, makes it legal. I, I mean, yeah. It's like your alter ego comes into your house and robs you. How the hell does that? <laughs> I'm going to sue that bastard, too. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling Watch you. Watch out, Matt. The FCC might be listening. Oh, damn. Right. The good news is, no, they aren't. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and fuck the FCC. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> That's what we got to that. Guys, thanks so much. Awesome tunes. And uh, get out to see the show on Friday at Mr. Roberts. 